Hiya guys, welcome back. So today I can finally get back on with making the lightsaber. As you've probably seen from my last two previous videos, we've had a few issues with the lathe. I had to reinstall a motor, and while I was there I also fitted a DRO, which I'll quickly go over in a second, just the uh, altercations I've made to the lathe. But that is basically what today's video is going to be. It's going to be finishing off the lightsaber, and if you stay towards the end of the video, I'm going to share some really exciting news which has happened on the channel. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and drop a comment below, just send subscribe and I'll reply straight back to you. So just quickly for those of you that didn't see my last two previous videos, the motor had burnt out on the lathe so I've actually replaced the motor with a new one which Walco kindly supplied. While I was there I fitted this DRO which that is going to help me do much more accurate cuts. The lightsaber is probably not going to like use it that much but in future when I'm making parts it's going to be really handy. So while I was fitting the DRO I've had to extend the back plate here just because where it was so close the DRO was catching just down here. Oh, I say the DRO, the DRO sensor so I've literally just spaced that back, welded a plate onto here and made, it made up a spacing blocker to space it back so it's pretty solid. So yeah that is the lathe, like I said backing plate upgrade, DRO upgrade and new motor so that should help us finish off the lightsaber. So in the last video we turned down this outer diameter to 34mm and we added in the nice ribs. I also started to make this indentation here which going by the drawing I've still got a fair way to go down but I'm going to leave that for now. I want to carry on shaping this end here. So I need to leave an outer diameter of 34mm and 2mm wide here. I then need to turn down the next bit to 30mm so that's the next bit I'm going to do now. So I'm just coming up to my final couple of passes now. Just really back down on the, um, on the feed rate and the depth of cut. Just try getting this a nice polished finish. Saves me doing any polishing later on if it comes out nice. See, hopefully this is the last pass. So you can see that surface finish polishing up quite nicely. Because I'm literally taking off next to nothing. I think we'll call that it for that part. So I've got a nice little lip on there. And that is turned down to what we need it to. <sighs> Lovely. So using my parting tool, I've parted off the next section I need to cut out. So doing this little project on the lathe, I found the parting tool really useful to um, basically section off each individual bit. It's been a really helpful bit of tooling really. Um, without it, it'd be really hard to get the exact 90 degree cuts on this. And yeah, it's just a really good method I've found. Yeah, the next thing I need to do then is take out this bit of material here, where I put those parting grooves in, take that down to the next size diameter. I've got to admit, it's pretty cool now we're starting to get some lips and that in it. It's starting to take shape of what it's actually going to look like, so good looking good. So just quickly, I've got a rough indentation here of how deep that's going to be. I'm now just going to mark out roughly the next sections. So to do that, I'm going to be taking them down different passes as I go. So I'm going to come back at, towards the end where we should have something which will finally resemble the uh, shape of our lightsaber. Hope you guys enjoy this.
So I've pretty much finished the shaping as close as I want to get now to the chuck end. So next thing I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to spin this in the lathe, uh, centre drill it, the other end obviously, this end, and then start working on down here. So that's something I'm going to be doing next. So using this self-centering tool that I made, I'm going to square up the best I can my stock that I've got in here. Just watching it by eye. Just waiting for that to come in so it looks like it's running fairly true. So that looks like it's running pretty bang on true now. So next thing I'm going to do is centre drill it and then once it's centre drilled I can get in some tail support. Nearly big enough to get some tail support in there now. And there we go. So just quickly while I've got this in the lathe, this tool here is actually a tool that I made. So it's a purpose built centre drill holder. Uh, I've got a few more to make. This one was like a prototype just to see how it went. And it turned out pretty well actually. So I'll definitely be making some more of these in future. Right, let's get our tail support in there now. Right, now we've got our tail support in there, we can see how true this is all running. Yeah, it's running fairly true. There's a little bit of run out towards the end here, but nothing I'm going to worry about too much for what I'm doing, so brilliant. Just blasting through the material now, just to try getting it down to final outer diameter. Got some really nice chip control at the minute, so things are looking good. Right, so got it pretty close now to the final outer diameter here. So I'm going to do a few finishing passes on this and then clean the face up of this by doing a little bit of facing. And then after that, that is the lightsaber pretty much done. Might just give it a final polish while it's on here, but that is, yeah, the body all much all done. So let's start this bad boy up. Oh, I'm going to speed the lathe up now, just to try getting these final passes nice. Just touching off. All right. Now I'm just going to work this in gently now. facing while we're there. There we have it then, our first actual project on the lathe. <laughs> All pretty much done. So I've still got a few bits to do to this, but I'm gonna do that off camera. Um, if enough of you guys request it, I will show you a final finished product of this. Still got like a little bit on the end to go and the trigger assembly. But for now, for what you guys are gonna see, that is all but done. So, at the start of this video, I said about some big news for the channel. So, quite a while back now, I built a drift trike, which if you guys haven't seen that, check out the previous videos on it. There's a full playlist of me building it and testing it out. 
but because of the size of the workshop and the resources available I've actually sold the drift trike so the drift trike sold last week it's gone over to the mainland gone to Livington um, I hope the guy that bought that is going to have some real good fun on it but that has now given me some free cash to spend on the next project so I've actually got the next project it's already lined up it's going to have four wheels and it's going to be motorized that's all I'm going to say if you stay tuned and watch the next video I will tell you and show you what the big project is going to be but for now that's all from today hope you guys enjoyed this please like share and subscribe and for now see you in the next one what a bear.